Today I'm going to show you how we can merge layers in our Paint Designer. We're going to also explore alternative options that will be a bit less destructive. Here I am in my document in API Designer version 2.5. I got a text layer. How can I tell? Look at the layer panel, this little icon at front. You hover your mouse on it and they will tell you that's the art text. Curve, ellipse, rectangle and also raster image. If you need to merge layers, it will also be important what kind of layer is it. When you right click on the layer, you will expect to see merge down or merge visible. But you cannot really see it on the list here. So let's try to group two layers first. In this case, both are vector objects. I select them both, right click and group. I got them in one group but individual layers are still inside. What if I right click on this group and select rasterize and trim? As you can see, that's the classic merge. Now I cannot just take one shape out. I end up with a flat raster image. It's a bit non-intuitive comparing to other software, but I believe the main purpose is to stop us from doing that and select more or maybe less destructive options because if I select all of this now I press command G to group right click on the group and rasterize the whole group we got all layers merged into one flat pixel layer and some of you may need that that's how you do it but what are our alternatives? So let's undo in the history panel. All right, so what are our alternatives? We could simply group it, right? If you group it and don't rasterize, you got way better result because now you can move everything together. But if you really need, you can always open the group and make some individual changes. So consider that instead of rasterizing flattening your image plus if you really want you can merge your vector shapes together but keep in mind they will have a same color if you, we select two vector objects and use boolean operations at the top we can add them together we kind of flatten the vector objects they got same color because now they became a one vector object but they are still vector so it's a bit better than making just a flat rasterized image out of them for text we can turn text into vector as well by clicking on convert to curves and we'll end up with a group of shapes for each letter so that's another option if you want to get rid of editable text but still keep it as scalable vector and the same thing for the line here if you want to turn this line into a vector shape it's also possible simply head to layer expand stroke and now it's a big group full of shapes so here are some alternatives but as i show you you can match everything by rasterizing a group so select all right click make a group right click again rasterize and you merge all of the objects into one flat layer keep in mind it's a pixel layer i hope this short tutorial was helpful and i will see you in the next video